Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2019 Heartland Prowler 25LX. This is a great non-slide family model, so if you don't want to mess with any slides, but you still want a sofa, dinette, and double over double bunks, then this just may be the one for you. Let's start off right over here. One of the things I like right away about this floor plan is the fact that you have a campside dinette. I like when manufacturers are able to do this because this is where I'll be sitting down in the morning to have my breakfast or my morning cup of coffee, and I wanna take a look out to my campsite, not out at my neighbors, so I, I certainly appreciate that. This also can drop down into a bed if you so desire. What you'll do is remove the legs right here from the flange in the floor. You'll have another flange right here in the table. It'll pop out of both. The table will then drop down. It'll sit along these rails here. You'll take your back cushions, put them on top, and that will create your sleeping space. Now, it's not necessarily huge, so most adults probably can't use it. However, it is great for kids, or if you have like a pack and play or something you need up and out of the way, that is an excellent place to put it as well. You also do have an electrical outlet down below, so if you need to plug in any phones or laptops while you're sitting at the table, you have that capability. Storage across the top here, you can see the three storage doors there. Not bad storage above your table. And then over to this side is your multimedia center as well as the TV hookup. So if you want a TV, that's where you'll hook it up at. You will see your RCA cables here which are con uh, connected to that multimedia center That because that is a DVD player as well. So if you want to watch a movie, plug into the back of the TV, you're good to go. Uh, as you'll also notice, you have a couple of USB ports up there. And then right over here to this side is your thermostat. This will control your uh, in-floor heating. It is ducted throughout. Right here in the back are the double bunks I had talked about. You can see that they are uh, nice and wide, 300 pound weight capacity on there. So even if you have adults sleeping in here, it can support most adults. And you'll also see you have a light switch on the wall, which is really convenient. A lot of manufacturers don't do that. You'll just have the light up top and it can kind of be a pain to turn on and off, especially you know as an adult, it's a little bit tougher to get up there, but uh, having the switch makes it nice. Right down below, you'll see you have a light on the bottom and you have a window down there. Right in the back corner here is the bathroom. I'll sneak in here just to kind of show you an idea of space. Uh, right here is the toilet. As you'll see, you have plenty of leg room. Uh, I'm pretty wide in the shoulders, and because they have a curtain rather than a door, you have pretty good space here for the shoulders as well. They give you a tub shower in here. The tub's nice if you have little ones because you can give them a bath while camping. You don't have to force them to have a shower if uh, you hadn't had to do it at home yet. And I'll take a step in here just to give you an idea of height. I'm six foot, and as you can see, I can stand in here without having to duck down. If you know, you're taller, you're 6'2", something like that, yeah, you're probably going to have to duck a little. But being six foot, it's no issue. I also have the hand wand there and then some shelves for your soap and shampoo. Right off to the side, you have a mirror. You'll see you have the sink top here. It's kind of cool. You get, they give you a little soap dispenser as well as your toothbrush holder there. Then your towel ring is uh, on the other wall, tank monitoring panel there, and an electrical outlet. Toilet paper holder is already mounted for you, which is pretty great because a lot of times it's not. And then uh, you have a little bit of storage underneath the sink too. Right outside the bathroom here is additional storage. Now you have a couple different options here. You can use this as a pantry if you want. If you need to use a shelf as a linen closet, you can do that. More than likely though, you'll probably use this for the kids' clothes. But either way, that is a good extra storage uh, space. And then you have some cubby holes up above there as well as above the refrigerator. Speaking of the refrigerator, you have the Dometic fridge freezer combo. You have the stainless steel panels on there. When you open that up, you'll see the space inside. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Moving further into the kitchen here, you'll see that they give you full-size appliances. And by that, I mean you have the large double bowl sink here as well as the three-burner cooktop. A lot of times in a kitchen this size, they'll give you the two-burner and a single bowl to try to give you more countertop space. But instead what they did here is they give you the, uh, a recessed cooktop with the glass cover so you can use this as prep space and still have your full three burners. So uh, I certainly appreciate that they did that. To access those burners, you just lift this up. I'm, I have some decorations on there, but it does lift up one more and fold all the way back. If you want to reach your two back burners, otherwise you can just flip the one back to access the front burner there. Again, this is a, an upgraded grill on here, a little more residential look than what they've had in the past uh, for your RV cooktops. Same thing with the knobs, you know, they upgraded the knobs on there. You kind of have the chrome look, the chrome handle here. And then when you drop that down, you'll see the oven in the event that you'd like to bake while you cook or while you uh, camp. Little cutout here, you know, maybe a good spot for some spices, something like that. 
two full extension drawers so you have space for your flatware and anything else you need to put in there and then additional storage right down below which you can either use for pots and pans or possibly a small trash can uh, as I mentioned, you got the double bowl sink, high rise faucet right here. Big bowls, I may add, they are very deep. Uh, a lot of times that's not the case. A lot, of time, a lot of times I'll put in you know, a shallow bowl just to try to save a little bit of money, but it is a uh, deep bowl there. You have the window to let in your light. Of course, LED light up top. Electrical outlet right over here. So if you need to plug anything in, in the kitchen, uh, you have the capability of doing so. Additional storage right up top over there. Microwave and hood on this side, and then a shelf over on this side. I, I kind of like the shelf. I know it's open, so but it gives you a diff couple different options. You can either use it for storage, or if you have some decorations you want to you know, put up there just to kind of make the space yours, uh, by all means, you can certainly do that too. Right here is your tri-fold sofa. That's kind of what makes this floor plan a little more unique, is the fact that you have the half wall with the sofa right here. So in a unit that doesn't have any slides, they're able to give you the campsite dinette, double over double bunks, and a sofa, which is pretty great. Uh, you'll see that they, they brought this back. The countertop extends out, so you have the countertop space, but they uh, left the cabinets back, so you have plenty of room here for your knees, so all three people can sit. So in the event that you do put a TV up by the entertainment center area there I showed you, you are able to see it anywhere from right here on the couch. Uh, being a jackknife sofa, it does drop down into a bed. You can lift it up, drop it down just like that. But if you take a look underneath there, the big advantage of a jackknife is the extra storage that you get. Uh, having that storage there is pretty wonderful. And then take, uh, so you can take a look at this right here as well. That does drop down. So if it's just you know two of you, you can kind of create like a pseudo theater seating, giving you an armrest here for both people as well as uh, cup holders. They do have little lights on there and then USB ports there too. So if you need to charge any electronics while you're on the sofa, uh, you're able to do that. Coming right around here is the master bedroom. They have a curtain to close off. If you want some additional privacy, you'll see that you have the shelf going along the top, LED light here. You also have wardrobes on both sides with hanging rods. So you have a place to hang your clothes. Nightstands underneath that, you can see how big it is there. You know, we're able to put some books and uh, decorations of a pretty family there. Uh, electrical outlets on both sides. If you need to plug anything in, you're able to do that. And then you have the queen bed right here in the center. The queen bed also has storage underneath, folks. So if you need to you know, put anything in there, if you have some larger items, it gives you. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Prowler 25LX. Right up front is a power tongue jack. Folks, this is great when you're talking about hooking up and disconnecting from a tow vehicle. It makes life a lot easier. Rather than just rather than cranking it up and down, you just simply flip the switch like so, and it will raise and lower the tongue. You also have a little light up front just to give you some added visibility at night. Right behind that are two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. To get into those tanks, you undo these two thumb screws, lift up the door here, and that will get you in. And then you'll also see your rails behind that for your battery. Coming up the front here, you have diamond plating. This will help protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. So we make our way around to this side, you'll see that the pass-through storage here does have a covered hinge. That way you don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. And if you take a look inside, you will see that it is completely finished off. So you don't have anything exposed. And it is a good size pass-through with the same size door on the other side. So no matter what you put in here, you can get it out on both sides. Dropping down a little bit, this one does come with power stabilizer jacks. You have a control right here for the front two. There's a control in the, in the back for the rear two. Bear in mind, folks, that this is not auto level. You want to make sure your coach is level. This will just stabilize the coach, but having the power jacks does make it a lot quicker and easier for you. And then right behind that is a propane quick connect. So if you want to do some cooking outside, whether you, know, you just want to be outside because, hey, it's half the reason we go camping, or if uh, you know you just have cooking something like bacon or fish, something that's going to smell a little, you can set up your grill or whatever else, cooktop right out here, plug it into that quick connect. It'll feed off your two 20-pound bottles up front rather than having to buy the small green ones. And then you'll see your power awning on here. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go back in. There is an LED light strip on there, so if you want light at night, you can just flip a switch on and you're good to go. Entrance, of course, is right here with three steps to get in there. One of the things, it's kind of tough to, to see during the day, but there is a blue light underneath here. You can turn that on and off. Uh, it, they'll have it at a couple different points. You kind of have it along the, kind of almost the, the entire um, underbelly there, which 
gives it a, a just kind of a cool look at night. But much more important than that is the fact that it's right by the steps because it lights up your steps at night. So that way, if you're coming back to your campsite, maybe after a bonfire, it's late at night, your steps are lit up so no one's tripping in or out of the RV and hurting themselves. Another thing, again, you can't really see it, but underneath there, folks, this one does have a fully enclosed underbelly. Uh, so that'll help keep a lot of that road grime out. And hopefully in the off season, we're storing it, it'll help keep some of the critters out of there too. If you take a look right over here, you'll see your electrical outlet. Uh, you know, if you need to plug anything in, that's the place to do it out here. Pretty self-explanatory, but it's always a great thing to have. Right up top are your two outside speakers. Those are connected to your multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here and kind of control it underneath your awning, you can do that. There are blue lights in the speakers as well, again, just to give that extra aesthetic. And then right back here is another storage area, just in case the one up front wasn't quite enough. You get this one, which is underneath that rear bunk. Good size storage area right back here too, again, allowing you to uh, you know, bring that much more with you. And then in the very back, you have the bumper on here with the end caps. You can pop those off, which is a storage space for your sewer hose. The tire is mounted to that as well with the cover. It's always a great thing to have. Not only is it stylish, uh, but more importantly, is it helps protect the tire from the elements, mainly UV. And then if you take a look up top there, you will see that this one also has backup camera prep. So if you plan on putting a backup camera on here, having the prep makes it easier, meaning it'll save you money on labor. On the off-door side, you'll have your two water connections, your city water right here on the left. And if you plan on going somewhere you don't have water connection, you'll want to make sure you fill your fresh water tank so you have water. Underneath that is your outside shower with both hot and cold water access. You'll see the hand wand there as well. You can drop this down. You can take the hand wand out and stick it right in there. Uh, just, you know, kind of a nice little holding place for it. Another thing you'll notice is the vents are on the off-door side here. I didn't uh, point that out when we were on the camp side, but all your vents are over here. Your furnace vent, your water heater vent, your refrigerator vent, everything is here on the off-door side, making that uh, the camp side very usable. You don't have a bunch of hot air blowing on you. And then right over here is your 30 amp detachable power cord. And lastly, your cable inlet if you have cable at the park. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Heartland Prowler 25LX. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.